Okay, so, hey guys, welcome to Universe Sandbox 2. As you can see, I'm starting off from, like, the last video I did, and I have a suggestion from Totally Not Gay, where he says, Abraxas, could you try terraforming a planet in your next video? Well, I didn't do that in my next video from that video, but, uh, about that, um, I've done some videos where I terraformed some planets, if you actually go back to the playlist. I don't really like terraforming pla planets because the terraforming mechanics are not really that great in this game. The most I could do is I could spawn a planet, like uh, if I go to, let's see, random rocky planet, drop this in. This one already has a green color, but if I like, uh, let's say, actions, let's just pause the game so it doesn't freeze, materials, and I change the materials up to like water or something like that. The most I can do after I add water. Uh, let's see if we can get water to spawn here. Uh, okay, there's some water. Uh, let's change its surface temperature to, I don't know, 20 degrees. And let's just speed up time a little bit. Uh, no, no, slow down time. And hit play, let it thaw out. Let's see, temperature. Uh, let's change that to 20 as well. Okay, I guess I don't want to change. And it doesn't look like it wants to thaw. Ah, there we go. The most I could do, since this is not a uh, textured world, is change the colors of these textures. So there you go, there's some green. Um, and yeah, there is our uh, kind of terraformed world. Of course, that's not really a natural green. Let's see if I can go for like a more natural shade of green like that. Maybe change like this blue to be like um, something else, maybe like a brown. Yeah, there's there's not too much I can really do with this, but there that that's essentially a terraformed world in uh, Universe Sandbox 2's regard. There's not really too much you can do. Of course, I could add something like an atmosphere. There's no atmosphere here, so there we go. We have a beautiful atmosphere, and there's a nice. Actually, that came out really well. I like the way that glow works. But there you go. There's essentially your uh, terraformed world in uh, Universe Sandbox 2. The only reason why, I'm, or well, the reason why I'm doing this suggestion is because a lot, I get to ask this question a lot. Why don't you terraform this? Why don't you terraform that? Well, it's because it doesn't really work too well in this game. I can change the colors and stuff, but I mean that doesn't actually add life to it like it does on Earth. And Earth is pretty cool, it has like the uh, night, night lights and all that stuff from like the uh, night sky. And here it is in studio view if you want to see like a uh, better detail on, the, on mapping and stuff here. Okay, yeah, here is our kind of uh, terraformed exoplanet. So, I have another suggestion, which is from... It's Foxstrom, and he asks, uh, I have a suggestion. I've been a fan for a bit, and I haven't made one yet. What if every planet but Earth was Jupiter-sized gas giants? Earth Among Giants would be a cool name for the video. Alright, that's all. Okay, well, uh, that's a good question. I actually... Yeah, it's actually a good one. And load up our performance solar system, because I think I might be doing some time-lapsing. So, let's see... Performance simulation, no Kuiper Belt. Here it is. Okay, so... Looks like we already have it paused. Conveniently, in this game, you already have the mass of Jupiter actually as a setting. As you can see, there's Jupiter, so if I just change everything to one Jupiter, it should be pretty easy. So everything but Earth. I wonder how this is actually going to influence the Sun more than anything. Earth, it might not fare too well. But the Sun, that might actually get a little bit... yeah, interesting. So let's go ahead and do that for each planet. Okay, so I'm actually shocked that it did not turn into a gas giant. Very cool. It looks like we actually have, might actually might have some rocky Jupiter mass. Like uh, he says, size of Jupiter, but I'm assuming mass of Jupiter. So I'm going. To, I'm going to go with mass. Uh, even though he did specify size, I don't think that's going to do too much. Because even if it's the same mass and it's just taking up a bigger volume, that's not really going to do anything. So. For a greater effect, that we're changing the mass. Look how big this Mercury is. Let's uh, let's throw Earth right beside it real quick. Uh, I already have that set as a still object. Okay, so there's Earth next to a 
Mercury that is the mass of Jupiter. Also, I think Mercury looks very cool at this size. You actually see a lot of its detail in its giant crater there. That's very cool. Okay, so I've already done it with Mars, right? Yes, I have. I don't need to do it to Jupiter. Uh, Ceres and Vesta aren't here, but... Oh, well, I guess. He did say planets, not dwarf planets. So we have Saturn here, which may be huge, but it's actually not all that massive. So let's go to Jupiter and set it to one Jupiter. And there's Saturn if it was the mass of one Jupiter, quite a bit bigger. Okay, so we have Uranus and Neptune, which I don't think will have any real significant difference. But we're doing it to all the planets, so here we go. Okay, so Jupiter. And voila, let's uh, kind of just zoom in right here to our sun and see what happens. Let's change the view to orbits and let's just hit play. So I think most of the system will handle pretty well. The sun's going to have a lot of wobble to it though. Earth, I think, is going to be probably pulled towards Venus and maybe even ejected out. Once Venus comes around, there it goes. So it probably just pulled Earth a little bit. If we go to View and Trails, we might get a better sight of this. Actually, that didn't misline Earth as much as I thought it would. You can see that it is not on the uh, same plane, though, as it spins around. You see it was dragged by Venus right there. And it's being pulled ever so slightly closer every time it orbits around, I believe. It doesn't influence that much, and then it was just kind of thrown out a little bit by Venus. So I think over a very long time span, this might actually have a significant effect. So let's just zoom into the inner solar system, because I don't think much is going to happen out here. And let's just watch what happens in a time lapse. So, we have something interesting here. This is about what I expected to happen after I started seeing the orb go very eccentric. It looks like our very own Earth has gone flying out of our system. In fact, we can't even see it. It's so dark. But if we change the lighting over to studio, boink, there we go. There is our frozen Earth. We're, we're being thrown way out of the solar system, off to be a plan emo. So... There it is. That is what would happen if we changed all the planets to the mass of Jupiter. So, very good suggestion. I was actually genuinely curious about that one. It seems like, I don't know what's going on with the sun here, but it looks like it's orbiting Neptune weirdly enough. I found that a little bit odd. But as you can see, it's very slowly orbiting around Neptune. Actually, I think that's, yeah, it's the entire system just orbiting around weird little orbit. I think that's just a combined mass of all these planets that it's actually orbiting around, but yeah, I don't I don't really understand that. But uh if you guys like the video, please leave it a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe. It really does help. And I will see you guys in the next one.